Excellencies, our youth networks in 165 countries, the majority of our 85 million Christians, told us how COVID-19 impacted them. They reported increased stress and anxiety caused by COVID isolation, restricted access to education for those who lacked the necessary technology. Women were often expected to become teachers as well as care for the household. Homes became offices to balance work and childcare. There was domestic violence with little ability to escape. Many lost jobs were laid off or had salaries unpaid. Many had to choose, risk infection or arrest by going to work or lose their job for staying at home. Some were denied government aid because technically they were employed despite not receiving salaries. Where in the minority, Christians sometimes experienced religious discrimination from NGOs operated by other religions. Loss of income affected personal and family care, diet and medication. Young people felt blamed for spreading COVID, yet were among the first to be vaccinated. The voices of young people were often not heard as they do not hold positions of seniority. We thus suggest states work alongside and with faith actors. We are already helping women fight exploitation, supporting broken families and building caring communities. Support us and focus on access to education and employment for young people, ensuring human rights and the prevention of religious discrimination are priorities at the local, regional and national levels.